Carol, I want to play a clip. Uh, you were on Jordan Peterson's podcast uh, about a week ago, and you guys got into why it's important to fight the culture wars and why certain people don't and why certain people do. I think that's yeah. definitely related to what's going on here in Florida. Take a look. Conservatives are so damn blind that this goes up on under their noses constantly, and they often facilitate its movement forward. And it's because they're, they're either ignorant, that's part of the problem, or they're afraid on the moral front. And neither of those are excusable, especially when hypothetically they're concerned about losing the cultural war, which they are definitely losing. Well, look at the abuse and pushback that Governor DeSantis gets, even from other Republicans. You know, people that are in the public eye, the, the Chris Christie's of the world and such, they say things like he... DeSantis sparks cultural wars. Well, cultural wars are really important because a war for the culture matters. Culture matters. So yes, we should be fighting these wars. I think so much of what we talk about is um, dismissed by the left and we let them dismiss it. We let them say, oh, this doesn't matter, but it does matter. And we should be talking about it all the time. I think that the schools and the fight for our schools is so important. Pedro took, to Carol's point and to Jordan's point, MSNBC right now and Donald Trump and Mike Pence and Chris Christie and Nikki Haley are all on the same side of Disney against DeSantis right now. All DeSantis did was even the playing field. He got rid of crony capitalism, which apparently the leftists yeah. and now Trump are for. It's, it's incredible, actually. Yeah, it's it, not only incredible, but it, it, it's also in order to do this, Trump has to repudiate his own position as as the culture warrior, right? The one who is saving us from the extremes, of the left. He's now rooting for Disney. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's that's problematic for two reasons. One, like you and this is the point that I actually keep highlighting uh, because I think it's it's powerful and it cuts across both aisles. And that's that really this is this is as much it is a culture war thing, obviously, like Disney was pushing these radical ideas um, on, on kids through their programming. But it's also a question of who rules. Are corporations above any accountability? Right. Do they get to say, do, do, right. do they get to do whatever they want? Because I, th I think you have to go back here and remember that this started with the, um, the, the Parental Rights and Education Act, right? Which was really popular in Florida for obvious reasons. And Disney was not happy with it and basically said, you know, we don't care that Floridians like this bill uh, that protects families from, from the extremes of the left. We're going to do everything in our power to 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 kill it, and if it passes, we're going to we're going to basically engage in economic warfare against politicians by by withholding donations from from people that have basically been instrumental to Disney's success, right? So there's no kind of there's no sense of humility from the company, and so DeSantis said, no, actually, corporations don't get to do whatever they want. Floridians are actually in charge of their own state, and Disney doesn't get to push around. The, the entire state government. And I think I think when you frame it like that, what Trump and Haley and Pence are doing becomes even more disgusting. They're siding with a corporation that basically has said, like, we rule, not you, the mm. people of Florida. Right, or and, the, and the funny do. part, the interesting part is, so DeSantis is going against the corporations. I thought the left hated corporations. He's going right. against the donor class, which is not happy. Yeah. I thought politicians right. weren't supposed right. to be owned by donors. And he went from winning his first election by 30,000 votes to 1.6 million. So he's clearly doing what the people want.